Hi guys, I'm back again. I've had a two and a half hours sleep. I feel top of the world. I feel a bit better, better than what I was before. Um, basically, I'm just going to be talking about... I'm just putting my laptop on charge. Not that I'm going to talk about that. Sorry, guys. I'm just talking to um, one of my goth friends. I haven't met her yet, but she lives in Darlington. And I'm going to give her a shout out. Debbie Sutherland. Hiya, pet. She's um, really, really, really nice. Oh, wow, wow, wow. There's a picture of Bruce Lee. Oh, I like him. Wow. I do like Chinese stuff, like I was saying in a couple of my videos, but um, basically I'm going to talk about um, how my life has changed, considering it's been eight months today since our dog's passed away, and I've never forgot him, and I'll be going definitely to the grave next week, because I will have time to go to grave. I think a lot of it to do the way I've been feeling lately is because I haven't been to the grave on the days on his birthday or on a, or on our anniversary day or Easter. I've just never had the time to do it and I have. I do feel really bad. Um, I can't change change that for what I'm going through. But... When once I get my party over with, once I get that over with, things will come back down to earth again, and then it'll just be like me and Andrew's drinking sessions on a night, um, because after the party it'll be next, be next Thursday, go no next Friday I'll be doing no next Thursday because I want a couple of days rest before I start again on the Sunday because I'll be doing the Sunday dinner, um. This week, I am cooking This week, I am cooking um, turkey casserole because I've got a turkey in the freezer which I've had there for a while when I had that back well, when I had my big shop actually that's been there since the first time I broke up with Andrew <laughs> So it should be well. It's still in date because it it should be all kept. It's kept in the cover, all right. So um, I'm gonna do turkey casserole with vegetables. It cooks up to for five people. So after when I cook it, I'll be chopping it all up, basically, like I normally do to spread it out. Because on Sunday I'm having. Me, well, of course, me, because I live here. <laughs> Andrew, Stephen, um, Marcus, and Aaron. He's coming for his Sunday dinner because he hasn't been for his Sunday dinner for a while and likes my Sunday dinners. Um, and I'm doing mince and dumplings for me and Andrew Friday because I've just bought the mince today. I've actually have to actually borrow money off my dad this week because I've had a lot to pay out this week. Uh, I've paid my bills today. Paid. I haven't paid the tax, so I'm going to leave that next week because I wanted to get Bright House out of the way, put money on gas and electric because I've done a lot of washing this week. I've really tidied the room up. Hang on a minute, guys. I'll show you. You see, I've tidied up the room. That's party stuff I bought today. I didn't show you that in the other video. Um, I've got some party poppers. I've got some... Oops. 
Actually, these Primark bags are good for rubbish. I use, usually use these bags for rubbish for my bedroom. <laughs> Actually, um, I've got this box down from the loft and I've got them two boxes which were my CDs in. So I'll be taking my CDs out and I'm going to use them to put my party stuff. No, party stuff's going in there and all my makeup and that will be going in my little boxes to just to keep the room a bit more tidy here, do you know what I mean guys? Um, because after seven months it has been hard. I mean, like, like I said in a couple of my other early videos, um, my thing's going off again. Oh, no, 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 no. Press the wrong one. Thank you. I said, I just wanted the counter on. Um, I keep pressing it, pressing it off all the time. And like I said, the last seven months has, has been totally different and totally tough. My emotions have been going up and down, up and down, like a co roller coaster ride. Right? I shouldn't be tired after two and hours sleep. I've just been yawning there. Oh, I think I wish you just catch you up with me at the moment. Um, I has been a roller coaster ride because when they stopped my money, um, well, Dougie died in August, and then I was sorting my money out. I was trying to get my money to try and claim for me, and. Then they stopped my money in November, which was like a couple of months after when Doug passed away, obviously, because I had that medical in October, and that's when they stopped it from October. But according to the letter, they stopped it on in November. And so I had... Then there was one... After Christmas, I had no money at all, three weeks. I will go on about it, guys, because it, this was the toughest thing I had to do. I mean, it was the toughest thing I had to do, having no money for three weeks. I had to get money off my dad. And I couldn't always get shopping off my dad, so this is why I had to go to special food bank places and get special help. I mean... It's really bad, really, this, the way people um, get treated. And you learn a lot by it. I mean, I have been bullied through the internet non-stop from what's happened to me. And when Doug passed away, I got bullied then. I got accused for murdering him. I got accused people putting fake accounts over me. Fake accounts off Dougie, um, being really, 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 really cruel. And things have settled down a lot, slightly. <laughs> still get the odd one, but things are still, like, settled down a lot. Um, but I did not expect to get engaged with Andrew on the set uh, after seven months. And... It is, feels really nice feeling when you've got someone there. And he'll be moving in a couple of months' time when we when we get his money sorted out. Then, because when he gets his money sorted out, we'll have to claim as a couple, which is done by law. And I'm going to see about that. I'm, actually, I might inquire about it while I'm at this work programme. I don't know if they help there to help you to support you what you need and what you need in in the future i mean i've got um a budget loan form i'm not good at filling forms in so i wanted to try and take that down tomorrow and try and get help from them to f help me to fill it in it's just the questions i get stuck on forms because they say things in a different way and they say it twice because they try to catch you out you see so you you know what I mean? Because a lot of people do forgery stuff. And we all know that. 
We all know people do forgery stuff because it is all over the world. Because it's on the news, it's in the paper, blah, blah, blah. You can't miss it, guys. Yeah, exactly. And this is why a lot of people who are disabled are getting penalised. And it's not right. We know it's not right. And the government think it's right for having a go at us. But we can't change government. But we've only got one more year till the next election, which is in May. And I bet you a lot of people be voting for Labour. Mm. I bet you they will. Because half our country is in a mess and people will agree with me with that. I have not got much back here left. <laughs> well, I have a bit, but I might have to break into my fags and get some get get Andrew to get me some more fags. Um, but yeah, what has changed in the seven months? I've become more stronger, become more wiser. I am choosing my friends wisely, but I will admit, and I will. I'm not having a go at two certain people who have come to my parties. Because of the CDs have gone missing, I am not inviting you because it's not fair. Because I don't want to be looking over my shoulder all the time. And the CD boxes are in a different place now, which are more better, better for me. And it's heavier, so I can't see them moving it. But the seven months have made me change and made me think who were my friends and who weren't. <clears throat> I mean, nobody helped me. Nobody helped me when I didn't have any money. But when Hell's Bells does get money, oh, they're all there. Oh, we're having a drink tonight. Oh, you're having a drink tonight. I would come around yesterday, so I said, yeah, man. Oh, they love Hell's Bells having a party. They really do. You know what I mean, guys? They really do. But do I get invited to a party? No. Health Bells doesn't get invited to their party. No, man. And when they do get an invite, it's usually on the wrong week when I don't get paid. Because I don't like going out when I don't get paid. I'm like everybody else. You know what I mean, guys? It is logical. When you invite someone, you should invite them back to a party. I mean, people don't do stuff for me. I have done everything in the last seven months by myself. And this is why I feel a lot more stronger, a lot more wiser, and a lot more happy. Happy-ish, <laughs> I would say. But... It is true, guys. It is true. I mean, you know after death, you'll know yourselves if anybody's been through it. you know who your friends are, who's not. Because you have them all in a little list, all in a line. This is what I do. I think wisely. I watch people. And I'm thinking, you haven't changed. Do you know what I mean? You were still the same person who you were. I mean, it's like... Friends have said to me from the last seven months, oh, they come and see me. But they haven't. Oh, if you want any help, let us know. They haven't. They've done the opposite. They've fallen out with me. Do you know what I mean, guys? I have learnt this. I have learnt this. I mean, as soon as I get on that course, I'll probably make some more friends and make some new friends. But I don't invite them to my house straight away. Unless I know them, because there might be some people on the course who I know. And 
Dougie was the same. Our Doug was the same. He was very ra wary of my friends. Because he knew a lot of my friends were taking the piss out of me. He knew that. And I've known that now because I'm learning it. I am learning it, guys. I've learnt this from seven months. Seven months to this day. And you know, my Doug is still in my heart. Doug's here with me. Seven months, guys. You can't, you, you can't believe it, can you guys? Really, you cannot. I mean, another three months. It'll be a year for Dougie. And that's going to hit me bad, of course. I know it will. I don't know if I'll be on Facebook. I don't know if I'll be on YouTube. But I'm going to try and get away for the day for that day. Because I just want time out. Because really, I don't want to be sat in the house do, do, dwelling. Do you know what I mean? I need to get a plaque for Dougie. I really need to get a plaque. I mean, if someone can make me a plaque for Dougie's bench, a little brass plaque engraved on Douglas Adams died on August the 70th, not August the 30th, 70th, where that's come from. We don't get 70th days. Um, August the 30th. 2000, I'm going to check, <laughs> had to check the year then, 2013 and um, died 75 years in loving memory of Helen Adams. I would love that. I really would love that. If somebody could make me a plaque with them letters, it'll be, it will be a lot more cheaper for me, put it that way. It'll be a lot more cheaper for me and, and it's a thought that counts. By the end of the day, if one of my friends say, right, Hells, I'm going to get you a plaque for you. You deserve it for to put on Dougie's bench. Dougie was my friend too. So, I mean, if somebody did that for me, I would be overwhelmed. But, no, I'll have to do things myself because I know nobody will. I mean, I never get any flowers anymore and... I used to get flowers just to, people used to say thank you to me for the parties or stuff like that. And, I mean, after this party, I probably won't be doing another party till, um, I'm trying to think. It'll be, oh dear, what month is it? April, May. It'll be in July. The next party will be it be um, Marcus's birthday, because Marcus always has a birthday party here. It has a session, um, it has a, um, a Sunday session. Do you know what I mean? It's family tradition. It is family tradition. See, me and Dougie used to follow these family traditions. We used to follow bank holidays. We used to follow St George's Day, but with, I couldn't afford to have a drink on St George's Day, so I had it in between. St George's Day and, and our first three day. So I had it last week on the 24th. Do you know what I mean, guys? So you think you try and work around the dates if you can. This is what I do. I work around the dates. Then I'm going to have the drink on that day. And if I've got an appointment on that day, it'll have to be on the following day. <laughs> it's, it basically works out because... After this party, I am going to chill for the next couple of months. I'll probably have a little barbecue session with me and Andrew sometime. I will have to get that barbecue cleaned. Dad! <laughs> when he gets his st steamer. Because <laughs> he's supposed to steam the yard. And he hasn't done it yet. Because it's all like greeny the yard. Well, I have done two things actually for Doggy in the yard. For from the last seven months, I've planted a, a lovely rose, which people said it was an indoor rose, but it's grown lovely. Um, 
and I'm planting an outdoor rose. So he's got two and I've put some butterflies in the garden. I've put some new lamps in the garden. I've put a, um, new ornaments in the garden and I'm going to get some bark. You know that barky stuff? I'm going to put some of that on the garden round the plants because I think it'll make it look a bit more tidier, the garden. And I'm going to get some hanging baskets to put plants in to make it look more pretty. I still haven't got the lights up yet. They need doing. I need some more lights in for the yard. So they've got to come yet to make the yard look a bit more prettier for the summer. I mean, at the moment, the weather for the summer, we haven't been out there much. We've only been out there half a day <laughs> until it got cold. Oh, I think I might break into my fags in a bit. <laughs> this roll is taking forever. But, yeah, guys, some of the things I have done for Dougie. Um, uh, yes, I've got Dougie's pit. Well, Aaron put that up for Dougie. I've got that and the butterfly, which I bought. That meant to be for the garden, but it looks too pretty for the garden. But I'm going to, when I get my printer done, that wall will be covered with photos because I want to make my uh, bedroom into like a memorial service for, like, not like a memorial service, like a mem mem memorial, memorabilia, that word, memorabilia room. But yeah, things have totally changed. I've changed in myself. I know I have changed. And I think people have seen a change in me on Facebook. Because I'm learning to stick up for myself a little bit more. And if I can't stick up for myself, I just come off it. Ignore them completely. Um, which I have learning to do now. Um I mean, you learn all the time, guys. You really do learn all the time. I mean, I'm so glad I got Dougie's bench because I wanted to get a bench for Dougie. Uh, I've still got the wind chime to put up yet, which um, I will get round to it. I need, um, need my dad to get a nail so I can get it clipped onto the roof above the door. See, I think of things like that. I mean, I don't go out spending money for myself. I mean, I go out spending, um, looking at um, stuff for Dougie, for the yard, and what me and Dougie would have bought. I mean, I still think of him with me all the time. I mean, even though I'm with Andrew, but I still think of him. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody, because uh, I certainly don't know if it makes sense to me. And the last seven months, I've lost weight as well. That's another goal I've lost. I will bring you... I'm just going to get something to show you. I'm going to stick these. Um, this one, well, I did show you that one. You can see what it says. I'm going to stick that on the wall where the photos are, I think, because I think that's been mint. And that one. I want to get some more of these so I can stick little love hearts and things round the pictures of Dougie because I think that'd be quite smart. Actually, guys, I'm going to take you downstairs because I'm going to get my fags. I'm sick of smoking back at the moment. I've just had a cup of tea and... Because um, the yard looks a lot more better now. 
Oh yes, the seven months of tree's gone. Now we've got another tree growing there. That's a silver birch. But I'm going to get another pet in the near future. I don't know what to get, a rabbit or a guinea pig. But I want the wind chimes sort of either on the shed, on the corner of... No, because I'm having the... Um, I might put them there, actually, on the railings. I don't think they would mind if I put them on there. The railings there. And getting some wall hang, like wall, like flower things. Because I think they look, would look mint. Oh, I have to go down. Not in there. Oh, I know where they are. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I am going to make a lovely pie on Saturday. I might do some cooking videos because it will be the last party for a while. So I'll do some cooking videos and I'll show you my cake, what I've done. Because I've got to decorate that. Oh, God. I haven't decorated the cake in years. Guys, did you know what I mean? Whew, them stairs. Um, I've got to go to the doctor's at some point next week. I've got to tell him about my foot. I can't remember when that appointment was. Um, I've got a foot clinic appointment sometime. You see, I've got all these appointments and they expect me to go on on um, a work program, I've got to have jiggle around the bloody work appointments. It messes my days up. It does honestly mess my days up, guys. Because I'm so used to having a routine where I get up and do stuff in the morning. Well, tomorrow morning I'm going to get up, do what I have to do. In a sense, I'm glad that Andrew's not with me today cause, so I can get up in the morning. <laughs> Bless him. Um, sorry, love. I didn't mean that. <laughs> he knows that. And um, I don't know if he, he doesn't watch my videos, so. <sighs> but um, got to get up in the morning. Got uh, tidied the kitchen up. First thing. Get me pots out the way. Um, yeah, get me pots out the way. Do the... Do the tidying up. I said that. Get my pots out the way. Go to Morrison's in the morning because I need some stuff um, from Morrison's because I need some fridge stuff. I um, didn't get the fridge stuff today. Because I need some milk as well. I'm running out of milk. I forgot about the milk again. Friday, I'm going to try and have a little sleep in. Um, mind you, I have had two sleeps in this week. But I've still been feeling tired. This is what I can't work out with my body at the moment. Um, but Friday, I'll be getting up and... Getting the dinner ready, um, because like I say, I'm gonna do mince and dumplings. I'm supposed to be getting that organised for me and Andrew, because I'll have to get everything washed up after that. Andrew can do the washing up for me, because I need everything. I need the tray for the for the cooking for cooking the turkey. So I'll be cooking the turkey on the Saturday. So I'll be cooking with a hangover, doing the cake with a hangover. <laughs> so I'll have to get some Lucas aid tomorrow. So I'm going to need it for the weekend. Oh, orange aid. This is quite nice, this orange aid. It's M Morrison's. Marcus has got me into it because he left his bottle the other week. And I don't normally like orange aid. And I find that one quite nice. It's not too strong because some orange aids are quite strong.
you know what I mean guys, some, some are quite strong. Um, so, that's basically my seven months update since really since Doug passed away. And you just can't believe it guys, so grab every moment while you can. Grab all the happiness, grab your person who you love. Tell them that you love them. Even though it doesn't mean anything to them, just say, look, I fucking love you. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because you don't know what's going to happen around that corner. You just don't. And, I mean, you could be walking out your front door and getting knocked over. I have said this before, loads of times, because you just don't know. You don't know what's going to happen. So, guys, I love you loads. And also, I want to do two shouts out to my friend, um, the Undertaker, who's on YouTube, John DS. I think it's DS you call him. Um, he's under surgery at the moment. He was under surgery yesterday. And also a nice shout out to Donna because she's not, she's under the surgery and she's a YouTuber as well. And I hope all the best to both of you and get well soon. Um, I'm send, sending my love to you. You know what I mean? I watch, watch them too all the time. And there's not many people I do watch, but... Um, as soon as I watch them, and I think they're good, and I watch them, because they do cheer me up, and they do um, help me along the way, somewhere, <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> so, guys, love you lords, be cool, be happy, stay tuned. Hells, four, oh, two, I'm out of here.